Welcome to Easter Vegan Readings. I'm your Chief Consultant, Reverend Rock, here to oblige you on your unique journey through the self-discovery. And tonight, I'm going to talk about y'all. Mm-hmm, that's right. Y'all. This is something that I've composed, like I said again, in my previous videos, that, you know, I have a plethora of content in my archive. And this is just another thing that I have composed that is imperative that y'all must listen to. <clears throat> why? I know absolutely why. But do you know why? Why as a people do we only talk about it post about it, or get registered to petition to march and have peaceful demonstrations about it. Then we get bored with it, go back to watch football, basketball, baseball, Tyler Perry movies, Power, Game of Thrones, UFC, or the like, award shows, or any of those deliberate distractions that they call entertainment. Tame ultimately comes from the Latin root where it has, has where it has the meaning hold. This meaning is found in such words as contain, detain, maintain, obtain, retain, and sustain. The best way to keep a prisoner from escaping is to make sure that they never know that they are in a prison. And they definitely have our unconscious minds under arrest and subjected to supernatural hold. A velvet glove covers an iron fist. But let me tell you this. There is power in numbers, my sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers, aunts, uncles, and cousins, stranger, friend, and ignorant foe. Ants working together can subdue an elephant. If every single 40,177,000 of us so-called Negro, Black, colored, Afro-American, a Khan, Moor, Nubian, police officer, drug dealer, politician, billionaire, millionaire, soldier, sailor, pilot, judge, prisoner, corrections officer, gang member, CIA agent, social worker, marine gunnery sergeant, attorney, actor, producer, ball player, artist, model, detective, FBI agent, cashier, doctor, hetero or homosexual, nurse, Christian, Muslim, Jew, atheist, carpenter, designer, construction worker, Freemason, slave mason, Eastern star, whatever you want to label yourself, took a noble stand simultaneously and decided not to go to work, period, or purchase anything from their businesses, companies, industries, etc., ever again, and withdraw all our funds from out all bank and cartel accounts until our needs are completely met, their seemingly infallible system would inevitably crumble. And the social injustices that have plagued us since the inception of this U.S. corporation will cease to subjugate and consume us. It is called boycott, my brethren. Remember? Embargo. An official ban on trade or other commercial activity with a particular country or government. A simple effective dynamic that is known throughout all annals of history to seduce the most obstinate of empires unto the negotiating table. I stake my immortal soul on it. When it happens, other races and nationalities will look upon us with respect and admiration and not disdain and disgust. One thing is for certain, if you kill one bee, a distress signal is sent out immediately and the entire hive swarms to attack the culprit, no matter the size of the opposition, and no matter what social class to be. From worker bee to drone, they all participate in the assault. No marching, no protesting, no waiting for legislation to pass, a new law, just a relentless blitzkrieg of kamikaze upon the offender. We need to take lessons from the insect, which begs the question, are we truly awake or are we conveniently awake for likes on social media? We are not outnumbered. 
We are out organized. I'm going to say that again. We are not outnumbered. We are out organized. But y'all go ahead and watch your fucking football game and eat your chicken sandwiches. Go Brooklyn Dodgers. I've been hearing about this insurrection that happened a couple of years ago that they're blaming Donald Trump for. You know. And my thing is, black people should shut their mouth pertaining to that insurrection. And mind your business. That's none of your business. And you don't have no premise to say anything about that. At least they fought and fought for what was right. They thought was right. They saw something and they went after it. I salute. They were tired of Capitol Hill's foolishness. And so they tried it another way. They didn't march. They didn't petition. They didn't beg. They didn't beg to have a little section to march in so they can protest. They said, the hell with this. We want what is ours. And you have to salute that. Any real person would respect that. Of course they're going to talk trash about it. You know, the conqueror always rewrites the narrative as he sees fit. That's what they do. Nothing has changed. They still slaughtering the Americans. And y'all ain't doing nothing. Nothing but talking. Lip profession. But those Caucasoids put it upon themselves to say, the hell with talking. We're going to do something about it. Had them running scared inside that building. Scared. And you have black people saying, well, well, you know what they would have did if it was us. You know what they would do if it was us. What? You ever seen the sky footage of the Million Man March? Have you ever seen the sky footage of the, um, the, uh, the, the Martin Luther King speech? On the mall of the, of, of the Washington Monument? Did you see the sky view of that? They wouldn't have done shit! But hey, again, what do I know? Like I said, go watch a fucking football game. Ain't no peace. Easter V and